Hello, hello everybody, it's me, Cooper, and we're going to be playing some more Pokemon Conquest today on stream. Um, right now I'm just going to set up, you know, put out my links and stuff, the things I normally do. And then we're going to get started with the little let's play, well, little playthrough of Pokemon Conquest. If you're watching this on YouTube, do not be afraid to skip a little bit ahead, you know, get yourself into the, into the real game. Right now I'm just going to send out my links and then I'll be ready to go. Silent. Last thing we need is me to blast my own thing. And now I just go ahead and find my links. Perfect. So how's everybody doing today? I know I'm having a good day because I get to play some Pokemon today. And I freaking love Pokemon. So this is just the perfect situation. First things first, Tweeter. You're going to get the link. And then let's get over to the Discord. And we are go. All right. I want to thank you all for being here. Let's go ahead and play some freaking Pokemon Conquest, the Munishige Story Mode. I shan't forgive you, uh, forgive any land. Wait, what the hell? I shan't forgive any kind of defeat. You understand? Ginchio entrusts her castle to Munishige, but she will live to re will she live to regret her choice? Oh, uh, we'll find out. Munishige is a junior warlord, so we're going to be doing a junior warlord story mode. Once upon a time, at the gathering of Ransai's warlords, a decision was reached. A test was to be carried out to determine the strength of each kingdom's junior warriors. A warrior would be selected from each kingdom assigned castle at random, and assigned a castle at random, and asked to demonstrate their skills on the battlefield. The warlords themselves were not allowed to offer any help. Oh, that's no good. Help is definitely necessary. You will not actually be doing battle for castles, it is merely a kind of game. Hey, what's up, Quartz King? But this does not mean defeat will be tolerated. You understand, don't you, Munishige? Perfectly. I knew that you would feel this way. And look at that, I got a Star Raptor. So the first person to unite Ransai is the winner. This might actually, uh, this might be just a game, but it sounds like I'm going to achieve your ambition before you do, Ginchio. Okay, already making fun of her. But we have a uh, Munishige evolved, so I feel pretty confident for this story. Should be a... Should be a clean sweep, depending on who's around our castle, but we'll find out. So let's see, down here we have Kai, okay. Kai has two different armies, and Tadagatsu, who definitely counters me. So Kai is going to have to be our first target, or Yukimura. Yukimura could be our first target, okay. Well, looking at my army, I'm thinking we're a little overpowered, so... Going after Yukimura should be freaking cake. Let's see, who do I bring with me, though? I'm gonna train... These two guys? Yeah, that should be enough. To be, it's, to play safe, since this is the first story, I mean, the first fight, I'm gonna bring a little bit more than I need. You know, just a couple characters here and there. And we're gonna go ahead and fight Yukimura. And the warriors I'm taking into battle? Or all of these. Yeah, we're just gonna straight up overpower Munishige. I mean, I mean Yukimura. Munishige, since we have a Star Raptor, is gonna make this super easy. Now let's a go. All right, Yukimura. Let's see what you got. Let's hope for a challenging enemy. Yeah, let's hope not. I'm I'm, I'm cool with non-challenging enemies. That's that's more my speed. Oh no, little Tepig. Hey, nice to meet you too, Arman Kwa. Welcome to today's stream. So, yo, I'm gonna move my Star Raptor up pretty far. We're just gonna go right after this guy. We don't have to be tactical in the first fight. I mean, sometimes you do, but I feel like my army has so much uh, movement, so much uh, ability that we could just do this. Yeah, all these little Pichus and stuff, they can move four spaces. Hell, even Shinx can move four spaces. So we're gonna be just fine. And Star Raptor can fly over the lava. So we're going to take out that freaking Scraggy first. Tepig maybe. Hmm, maybe Tepig. Now Pichu, I'm sure you could take one Ember. Oh my god. <laughs> you almost did not take that one Ember. I am so sorry, Pichu. I did not mean to put you in an uncomfortable situation. That sucks. I'll do my best though. Let's see if I can fix this problem. Um, one second. Let me make sure everything's working. We are good. Do you play Master Duel Online? Of course I do. I've, I have a huge uh, Let's Play of it on my channel. Um, I stopped playing it, though, because I thought the game kind of just died for me. So I'm sorry, Armin Kyo. It's just not my thing anymore. 
But uh, I used to do subscriber duels with my with my uh, fans, and it was a pretty successful thing. It was a lot of fun. But the game has kind of died for me, so what are you going to do? All right, we're just going to activate the Typhoon now because I see an opening where I can hit two enemies at once. Let's just go ahead and get a double kill. <clears throat> Beautiful. And there we go. We'll get to that Scraggy, or hopefully that Scraggy will get to us soon. Shinx, who probably hit the hardest of everyone here. But first, we're going to let Pichu do the work. So, Pichu, I'm expecting... You know what? No. You don't have to die, Pichu. I don't know why I'm being sacrificial. There's no point. You go over here. You get to heal a little bit. We'll let a different person do the damage, like this Pichu. And hope for the paralysis. No luck. It's okay. This little army of ours will be able to take out this Charmander next turn. And if they don't, I'll make Star Raptor do it. But next turn seems pretty likely. So let's go ahead and end our turn. Well, just get a little closer just in case. Uh, let's go ahead and end our turn. Scraggy is my next target with Star Raptor. And I'm going to be able to hit them. They positioned themselves poorly. Oh, I'm not going to be able to hit them. That freaking Charmeleon got in my way. Not bad. Not a bad idea. So Star Raptor's tired because of the Brave Bird, but he's still allowed to use Brave Bird again. I just can't move as much, which is completely fine, <coughs> fine in this situation. So let's go ahead and move this Pichu up. Get them in a position where they can try to help me take out this Charmander. Luckily, the fire went away, so killing the Charmander is definitely possible now. So now that there's no fire pillars blocking this area, all I have to do is attack. Hope for the best. At least six damage. Okay, perfect. And that's going to be the end. I'm going to have to sacrifice our Shinx, but it was worth it. Go, Star Raptor. And just like that, we ended up getting a whole, uh, a whole new castle. Good way to start the story. Good way to start. All we need to do is take all the castles, so we might as well go for it. Yeah, I enjoyed Master Duel for as long as I did. I think, um, I think, uh, it's not just because I'm casual, but it's also just because I don't like grinding for gems. And the gems don't even get you that many cards in the, at the end of the day. It's just kind of, kind of boring in the end. So I, I just, I, I just turned away from it. There's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong with it. It's still a really fun game if you want to play with your friends. It's just not for me. So let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put them over here. Now that I got some new people to join my army. We got ourselves a Charizard and a Weevil. That's pretty good. Uh -huh. Now, normally I would... Um, you know what? I could still do this. I'm going to move some uh, forces around so that they can work in the mines for me. I like having money on hand. There's no real reason to have the money. It's cool. But um, I, like to, I do like to have money on hand. So let me go ahead and move these around. There we go. And let's just do a little bit of mining. Give me some give me some dollar bills. These guys are decently strong. There we go. No one should ever put actual money into freemium games. Keep your money to yourself. Always keep, always save your money. All right, everyone seems to be pretty chill as they all are because they don't move until the later months. I think the next person I want to take out, it could be Tadagatsu, honestly. But his army would be really, really hard to take down. Kai has two forces, but they're separated, so that wouldn't be too difficult. Maybe I'll try to take down Kai. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring Weavile and Charmeleon over to Aurora. And... Yeah... Weavile and Charmeleon are over here now. And I'm going to bring you over here. Now let's see. Who's with me right now? I have a bunch of Pichus. Pichus and Joltik are a little weak. Joltik especially. So I'm going to get you out of here. You're going to go work in the mines. And then I'm going to bring just these three. Should be enough to take out this. No problem. It's just the ground type, that's, uh, the ground rock type, that's the only one you have to worry about. 
So let's go ahead, just bring these three and dominate this uh, little, uh, just this little place. You want to buy the actual cards instead? That's also just a devil's game. <laughs> my friends are uh, my friends are addicted to buying the cards in real life, and I swear they're they're screwed. Their bank accounts are screwed. I I, I used to be exactly the same way though. It's a hard thing to kick. The car we call it the cardboard crack addiction. It's a very it's a very hard thing to kick. I try to keep things virtual and free. Now we got Weebo over here, we got Flaffy right here. We can't really do much on the first turn in this area. This area you kinda have to take it a little slow in the beginning and then at the end it's all it's just outright battle. So let's see what we can do. Okay, they're gonna they, it looks like they're closing the water path, but that could just be the bait. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step on this to make sure our forces are safe, at least for a little bit. And now they can walk. Because we do not want our Charmeleon to be in the water. He will probably just straight up die. Remember, that tail goes out, he goes out. So, no need to risk it. Weavile, that's your target. You're supposed to kill that one. Chingling can be your target too. Just don't fight the fighting type. Alright, that's what your other friends are for. Perfect. I activate the bustle ability. And with that, the battle's already over. Oh, we definitely need a new conquest game. I can't play this every day. <laughs> I can only play it every every other day. I freaking love Conquest, though. Favorite side game. Alright, so then you go here. Do a little chomp chomp. Thank God for that bustle ability. And finally, let's go ahead and get Weavile's Trickster ability going. So now we increased our critical hit and speed stat. The other stat doesn't matter. At least right now. And if we get the crit, we kill the Larvitar. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait one more turn. We got the crit. It's over. This battle was also a joke, but it's okay because this was just the side forces of Kai. It's not Kai's main army. The next fight is going to be against Kai's main army. I've never played a Pokemon spinoff game. Oh, really, Corpse Game? That's a shame. The spinoff games are almost all really good. If not all really good. Pokemon games are just solid. Hey, what's up, Ghost? Well, welcome to today's stream. Alright, so let's have my little guy right there. Look at a little Eevee. So cute. Alright, now Kai's army has been forced over here, which means I'm going to need everybody for this. Um, three electrics and two fires. That'll work with a flying type. Two flying types, technically. It'll have to do. It'll have to do. Kai's army is my target. So, after we take out Kai, the rest of this story will be super easy because we'll have a bunch of fire types on the team. I am ready. Let's see what Kai can do. Now, since I've already evolved Munashige and stuff, where this is a story mode I'm kind of going to blow through. What's up, Dark Knight? We're not going to take our time on this one. I only take my time on the story modes where we haven't evolved the character or we have character or we have Pokemon we need to catch. Conquest definitely has a great aesthetic. Yes, that is correct. It is uh, honestly really good looking. You got to love it. It's different. Definitely different. Now, Charizard has a weakness where it can only move two spaces, but it's strength that it's a flying type, so it's going to be fine. Star Raptor is going to do most of the work. Shinx is going to be the backup. Um, most of these guys are just going to be here to capture flags. They're not here to damage the enemy. Sadly, the enemy is a little too strong for that. This Pichu can go here, and Litwick's going to be the one that gets there last. Completely fine by me, though. So that Rock and Roller can give my Fire types some problems and my Flying types, so we gotta watch out. Kai's gonna try and flinch us on her first turn. That would be an amazing. Oh, she got it! That was an amazing play. Damn, having a Pokemon that can hit that much with that much range is pretty good. That is pretty good. I'm gonna have to figure something else out now. Oh, if my Star Raptor's stuck, I need to body block so that the freaking whatchamacallit. Huh. The other one doesn't hurt me. Rock and Rolla, yeah. Now Rock and Rolla can't reach me, so we should be fine. Let's just try to hurt the freaking pans here. That's what you get for bullying me! Oh, you hurt my Pokemon. Okay, I can rally up, but I'll do that later. Let's just get our Joltik up there. Pichu, get as close as possible. 
And next turn, I'm not playing around anymore. Next turn, we're going all in. I'm a little upset at how they treated me. And my Pokemon. As you can tell, I do not like getting flinched. That is, that is a jerk move. Flinch, freezing, par paralysis, sleep, anything. Anything that costs me a turn, it's going to cost the enemy an arm and a leg. My favorite gen of Pokemon is a difficult question because I really enjoyed the, uh, the first game I ever played was Pokemon Leap Green, which is Gen 3. I think the sprites in that game looked incredible, but that was before the physical special split, and I really do enjoy the physical special split, um, which is when they made uh, physical uh, the difference between physical and special attacks. Rather than it just being by type, it was by move, and that was the best thing they could have ever done. So... Pokemon Black and White 1, I really enjoyed the story, but they kind of lock off the Pokemon. Gen 5, Pokemon Black and White 2 is not one of my favorites, to be honest. Um, I don't know, I'm having trouble here. I guess if I had to go with anything, it would be... Gen... 6. I think Gen 6 is my favorite gen, not because of the games that Gen 6 has, but Gen 6 had some really interesting mechanics like the super training mode um, that you could do to EV train your Pokemon easily. It had the easy breeding mode, it had, um, what do they call it? It had the, the thing where you could like feed and pet your Pokemon, I thought that was really cool, it's like a pet simulator. I like pet simulators, just like Digimon World 1, so, uh, yeah, Gen 6 probably it has the... It's probably the best gen I ever played. I, I want to give something to Gen 7, but they took away a lot of stuff I liked, including gym leaders, so... <clears throat> I can't give it to Gen 7. And all the new stuff is fine, but they always add a gimmick I don't really like. So... Yeah, Gen 6 was probably the last one where I'm like, oh wow, this is awesome. I really enjoyed it. And I did enjoy Mega Evolution, so... You know, it all worked out in the end. Alright, let's just get this guy weak. There we go. Hey, Charizard, let's see if you can kill that person down there. 22? Okay, we'll do our best. Ah, so close. It did exact damage. Sometimes it goes higher, sometimes it goes lower. You take what you can get. Rog and Rolla can stay there. It's not going to be able to hurt anything I care about. And Litwick. Go over here. Maybe Rog and Rolla can hurt you, actually. Gen feel a 6 feels like the shortest jet in my mind. Yeah, I, I, yeah it kind of is silver. It kind of is. The story of uh, X and Y is extremely short with no real post-game. And then Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire is kind of just a remake, so what are you going to do? And not one of my favorite remakes. My favorite remake is probably Hard Gold Soul Silver. That remake is incredible. But Gen 6 is what really uh, added the things I enjoyed. Uh, making the game user-friendly. Especially a competitive play was a lot more user-friendly. Um, so yeah, I, I would go with Gen 6. Plus, it was like my first year of college when I was in Gen 6, so I had a lot of I had a lot of time to play it between classes and stuff. And I lived with roommates, so me and my friends would play it together. Me and my roommates would play it together. It was a good time. Good time of my life. Alright, let's go ahead and deal with these guys. Oh, you want to talk about the regions instead? If it was by region, I would have to go with Johto region simply because Johto includes Kanto. It's, it's like, it's, it's, that's like not even fair. The Johto region made it the, it was the best because it was connected to the Kanto region. You get two regions for one. But if you're just talking about like, oh, what is your favorite looking region, like aesthetic wise, like how, you know, where it's from, how it looks, um, that's a, that's also a difficult question. There's a lot of good ones. I would go with... I would actually go with the <clears throat> the Kanto region. It was such a it was such a nice little like it was just a bunch of little towns. It was not big t big cities. The Unova region reminded me of where I actually live, so I was like, oh, I don't like this. I want to live in a small town. And the Kanto region was just full of small towns, you know. That's not to say they didn't have their big town, Saffron City, but Saffron City was still had a lot of space and it was all cut up, you know. It's it felt like it was still pretty good for like a pretty good place to live. Eh, everything else, not so much. Not so much. Alright, Joltik, you're going to want to get out of the way. I'm going to have to go in. We, we can't really hurt this Larvitar with anything but Charizard or, or my other guy. 
Once we kill this Charizard, we take this territory. What about you guys? What's your favorite area? You know what? That's true. Hoenn does it look very breath breathable. I'm just not a fan of water. Um, I don't like to swim. Um, I do go to the beach. I, I don't mind doing some beach stuff. I just don't like to swim. I can swim really well, but no point. Yeah, I don't really like the ocean and stuff, and Hoenn region just makes me think you're living on the ocean. So, yeah. <clears throat> but it's, it is definitely a very nice place. It looks like it would be a nice place to live, so I, I get you. And we got ourselves a Darmanitan, everybody. Thank you, Kai. So, taking out Kai is a really good thing. We were able to get all this nice stuff. Alright, you guys are going to be working in the mines later. <clears throat> I'm also from the desert, Silver. Funny enough, I live in a desert, but... That's the thing. I, I just... Oh, I guess I live in a, I live in both. California's both. You live next to the mountains, you live in the desert, and you live uh, next to oceans. It's a weird mix. But what are you going to do? You live where you live. But I would prefer not to live by water, if possible. Right now, I live about 40 minutes away from the beach, so I'm cool with that. But I also live 40 minutes away from snow uh, uh, the mountains where you can go snowboarding, so that's pretty cool, too. Um... Yeah. And I'm only a few... Uh, I'm, all, I'm only like an hour away from Death Valley, so that's kind of... I mean, hell, it's called freaking Death Valley for crying out loud. Alright, so now I think it's time we try to take out Tadagatsu. And with Tadagatsu, I'm gonna need Kai. In fact, he's just really strong. I'm gonna need everybody. So, let me go ahead and take you out. And let's take you out. Sorry, Pichu. Don't get me wrong, Pichu. I like you, but I need you for a different project. Who's in this area? Perfect. Yep, that's gonna be your project. Alright. And then we're gonna bring you and Darmanitan. Because Tadagatsu's army is one of the strongest junior warlord armies there are. And starting next to him in the story mode is unbelievably unlucky. But I was able to take out enough people to make it easier to take him down. Because now I have fire types on the team. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> speaking, <clears throat> speaking of Pokemon, though, guys, which one is your favorite Pokemon? Unova, New York City. You're, yep, that's definitely a huge bias. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it, though. Nothing wrong with it. Oh, that sounds that sounds kind of like a bummer, Silver. That definitely sounds like a bummer. You don't want to live. I, I would rather live at least somewhere next to an ocean, like or not an ocean, maybe a river or a lake. And we got plenty of those in California as well. All right. Now Charizard, I want you to go this way. And Star Raptor, just go as far forward as possible. We want to see. What kind of plans we're going to have here. Darmanitan, you do the same thing. Get ready. Here, use Fire Blast. We're using it on the tree, if you guys are curious. You could use it on trees and stuff. I might need that extra spacing. Alright, Litwick, you go right here. And Joltik. Yeah, that ground-type enemy is going to be a problem, so I'm going to sacrifice Litwick to him. That should get them in a position where my Star Raptor can kill them. Is honestly, Quagsire is going to be the biggest threat. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I, uh, I've been doing a lot of Let's Plays lately, so i got to get my voice back. The Dynasty series is taking up a lot of my voice because i I got to do those deck profiles and stuff, and they're a lot of fun. Oh, no. Aaron got stuck. Good. Steelix walked into a place where I can actually hit it. Obviously not with Star Raptor, but... Um, eventually with my other Pokemon. So, looking at this, I'm actually going to go ahead and use my Typhoon early. Normally, I would not do this, but I'm totally going to do this. Now, you, my little Joltik friend, I need you for something. Hit that into him. The Battle City decks are incredible, Corpse King. Um, they're a lot... <coughs> they're a lot better... Because I didn't have to make up so many imaginary cards for the characters to use. 
Um, except for one character where I had to basically build their own... De I had to build a deck for them. But other than that, yeah, the, the Battle City decks are incredible. Yeah, I, 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 my, I have family that lives in Florida. Humidity is really bad. Like, it is unlivable for some people. It's just the worst. Um, I would rather live in a... I would rather live in a dry heat desert like I do now than live somewhere humid like Florida. Florida, just a terrible place to live. Alright, there we go. And... Let's see. I'm gonna let Charizard go first. <clears throat> I need to position myself in a way where I could bait out the oppo opposing Pokemon. But yeah, the Battle City decks are going very well. I've, I think I've decided on 20 characters. There's gonna be 20 Battle City characters for the Battle City Tournament. And I fell into a trap. That's a, That sucks. That really sucks. And, <clears throat> and I did it. I surrounded Steelix by fire types thanks to good positioning. So now it's over. And the fact that he can only move two spaces. Now this is going to hurt one of my Pokemon, but it'll be perfect. Okay. Steelix should die. Did not die. Well, that kind of sucks. Steelix didn't die. Well, good thing I have my Darmanitan, right? Okay, not 100% accurate. Let's try our Warrior Woman ability. Increasing our speed stat, which makes it 100% accurate, right? There we go. That's more like it. One less headache, <coughs> headache to deal with. So yeah, this story mode would have been a lot harder if we did not have two fire types right now. But we were luckily able to get capture two fire types. So let's end the battle with Star Raptor. I really hope Joey makes it into the Battle City Tournament. I'm going to admit it right now. Since I made 20 characters, only 16 of them are going to get into the Battle City Tournament. Eight, uh, four of them will be left out just like in Duel's Kingdom. But that's part of the luck of the roulette. Some characters are going to get left out. It was, sa it was sad to see Joey and Mai get left out, and a lot of people seemed to like Rex Raptor, which was a huge surprise to me. I did not know Rex Raptor had so many fans. Did you guys know the most popular characters uh, based on the deck profiles were Bones in first, 